Hello, hello, how are you doing? Hello, teacher, how are you? I am doing great. How about you? Hey, great, teacher. I am, I had it. Oh, you have a headache? Really? Why? Yes. What happened? I, I don't know. <laughs> but you don't have the flu? No, teacher. No, it's, thank, it's, maybe, maybe, maybe it's a stress. Yes, yes. <laughs> I consider that it can be stress. Thank yes. God that you don't have a headache or something similar. Oh, God. Yeah, because nowadays we never think about anything else. Yes, teacher. Yeah, it's very complicated. I mean, once you start like kind of feeling a headache or a sore throat or something, you are like, oh my God, what's going on? Yeah. Exactly, teacher. You feel worried. I mean, it happened to me last week that I was feeling bad and I was like, oh no, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was very, I was very nervous, but thank God it was nothing, nothing worse. Well, maybe you, you can have some acetaminophen for the headache and, and that will be it, right? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. Hello, Mr. Miguel, how are you? Hello, teacher, fine, thank you. Excellent, hello, Catherine, how are you? Hello, teacher, fine, thank you for your ask. Okay, very good, very good. Hello, Heidi. Oh, your hello, microphone. Teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. <laughs> how are you doing? Fine, I'm working. Oh, you're working right now? Just no, no, it's the during it's, the day. Yes. Okay. I was I, I imagine that it's it's always stressful and difficult, but at the end of the day, when you come here and you enjoy a moment with your friends, I, I really like to come here and, and have this moment with you. It's different from the normal things that you do in the during the day to come to the class and relax a little bit and learn. It's very nice and rewarding. Well, so uh, in the previous class, we were working on different aspects of technology. We were working on different aspects of things, what we do during uh, how we use gerunds and how we use infinitives, right? That's what we were doing in the previous session. How we use gerunds, how we use infinitives. And it was, it was a very nice moment. Do you remember what was the different, what were the different uses of gerunds and infinitives that we were discussing in the previous class? ¿Se recuerdan cómo utilizamos los gerunds y los infinitives en las oraciones? Infinitives is suggestion. Ajá. Imperatives. Ajá, with imperatives. Good, very good. Instruction. Ok, good. Do you remember how, I mean, what do you use after you make a sentence with two? Do you use an infinitive or a gerund after two? Infinitive. You use an infinitive, very good. And after four? Gerund. You use a gerund, good. I need you please to give me one example of a sentence with a gerund and one example of a sentence with an infinitive. I am going to share the screen for you to remember the examples that we were creating. And let me just share here. Okay. 
de los términos. Very good. Remember that we were using this type of sentences uh, yeah, in the last class, right? We were using this type of sentences. So I need you please to write on your notebook. Okay, escríbanme en su cuaderno. Write on your notebook two sentences. One using two and one using four. You can use any technological device, right? I use the computer two, I use the computer four. I use the cell phone two, I use the cell phone four. Or I use the television two, or I use the television four. And you can write the example, or you can use any other object, okay? Go ahead, I need you to write two sentences. Necesito que escriban dos oraciones. One with two and one using four, okay? Go ahead, and when you have them ready, let me know. When you have them ready, you are going to read them for me. Can I? Yeah, go ahead, please. I use my cell phone to check the weather. Okay. I use uh, my cell phone for checking weather. Very good, for checking the weather. Very good the job. Weather. The weather. Fantastic okay. job, very good job. Another example. Someone else, anybody who has the examples, uh, you can give them to me. Okay, if you have them ready, you can tell me, teacher, I have the example and you can give it to me. Someone else? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I use my cell phone for paying bills. Okay, I use my cell phone for paying bills, good. And what is the other example with two? What is the example with two? I use my cell phone to make calls. To make calls, very good example, excellent job, very good. Okay, someone else? Hello to the rest of the students who are joining the class. I am very happy to have all of you here. Let me see. Um, Catherine, Heidi, do you have your examples? Mr. Miguel, do you have your examples? Um, Estin, uh, I go to the bar to exercise. Uh -huh. My sister goes for a school, a school to learn. Okay, my sister goes to school to learn. Very good job. Very good, very good. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you very much. Ana Yancy, do you have your examples? I'm sorry, teacher. No, I understand very. Okay, eh, I need you to check on the sentences that we have here, okay? Las oraciones que tenemos aquí, de los diferentes eh, objetos que utilizamos. Recuerde que en la clase pasada vimos el uso de gerunds e infinitives cuando usamos to y cuando usamos for. Entonces, aquí tengo, ahorita les estoy mostrando el ejemplo de la computadora. And it says, I use a computer to play, to play, to play games to find information, to learn languages, for writing letters, for downloading music, right? Cuando usamos to, usamos un infinitivo después. Cuando usamos for, usamos un gerundio con ing. Entonces, 
necesito que hagamos un ejemplo con una de las cosas. Si le pregunto, por ejemplo, ¿para qué, gusta, para qué usted usa el teléfono? Su celular, ¿para qué lo usa? Para do a speaking. Ajá. So you say, I use my cell phone to call people. Right? I use my cell phone to call people. And if you use for, si vamos a usar una oración con for, I use my cell phone for making calls. Okay? And you have the example. Ahora hagamos un ejemplo con la tele, the television. Television. I, I use the television. I use television. Eh, check, check. Uh, novelas. Ajá. I, I send one example uh, in the chat. I use the television. Sorry, the, the corrector. It was like the self-corrector. The television. I use the television to watch movies. In this case, you say to watch no. soap operas. Soap operas. Okay, I am going to go here and we're going to write the examples. Okay, let me give you some examples and we're going to create them together. Okay, vamos a crear Thank todos los ejemplos teacher. juntos. Teacher. Yes, uh, I, I'm sorry. I was uh, doing my my sentences. Uh -huh. um, can I give them to you? Yeah, for sure. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the first one is I use a computer to download music. Okay. I use a computer to download music. The second one is cell phones are used to find information on the web. Cell phones are used to, to find, find information on the web. Okay. The web. Mm -hmm. And Very the fourth good. one uh -huh. is the uh, uh, cell phones are used for calling the friends. Okay, cell phones are used for calling friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good job, Ismael. Very good job. I need. I got a. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, I got a fourth one. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Give me uh, examples. I'm is... going to share them with you. Yeah, I use a computer for playing video games. I use the computer for playing video games. Very good. Excellent. Fantastic job, Ismael. Now, Ana Jansi, complete the sentence that I am going to write. Pueden ver las oraciones que les estoy escribiendo, ¿verdad? Yes. yes? Okay. So, Ana Jansi, complete this one. I use the computer. Uh, I... I use the computer. What for? for... ¿Para qué? Uh -huh. For? For uh, how do you say dibuja? Drawing. Drawing. For drawing for drawing pictures, let's say. Para dibujar sí, fotografías. For drawing pictures. Good. Very good. Thank you. Now I need I need another volunteer. Uh, Blanca Molina, complete this sentence. I use the TV. Blanquita, can you complete that sentence? I use the TV. Okay, I think Blanquita is not on the computer right now. Heidi, can you help me to complete yes, that? Can you hear him? Ah, I she's use... here. She's here. Yes, Yay. I'm here because it's in this very noisy. Oh, Sorry. No, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I don't have my headset in this moment. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Hey, how uh, are you feeling? First of all. For me? Como si yo. Ajá. Del viernes. Okay. Better. Very good, very good job. <laughs> Weekends. Uh, relaxing and. Much and you better. feel better. But, okay. Yes. Now, Blanquita, can you help me to complete the sentence that I am sharing there? I use the computer. I use the computer for Darwin pictures. Uh -huh. Give me the next one. I use the TV. Complete the next one. I use the TV for my um, relaxing and ser so serious. Okay. For watching 
watching my favorite series. For watching my favorite series. Okay. Or in this case, you say to watch. Let's say to watch. It's For more common. Watch. It's more to common. Uh -huh. It's more common to say to watch. Okay. I use the TV to watch my favorite series. Good job. Let's see. Let's continue with another volunteer. Mr. Julio, complete this sentence. Okay. I use my car. I use my car to drive uh, for my work. To drive to my work. Very good job. Excellent. Let's see. Diomesis, help me to complete this sentence. I use the, um, let's see, I use the radio. Mr. Tito, complete that sentence. I use the radio. The radio uh, to watch sport? To? To watch sport. Can you watch sports on the radio? Podemos ver los deportes en el radio, or we can... Escuchar, perdón. Ajá, listen, listen. I use listen, the radio listen. to listen... To listen sports. sports. Very good job. Thank you, Mr. Tito. Let's continue with Regina. Let's complete this sentence. I use the notebook. I use the notebook. For reading, for, uh, for, to write uh -huh. my class. To write the class, very good, excellent job. Okay, let's go with Ana Romero. I use my pencil. For writing my notes. Very good. I use my pencil for writing my notes. Very good job. Let's see. Let's go with Milton Conjura. I use the, let me see. Ah, I use the fan. El ventilador. I use the fan. I use the fan uh, when... I, Para qué lo usamos? I use the fan. When I I feel the the hot. Ajá, but what do you use it for? Para qué es la finalidad? I use the fan to. Uh, uh, I feel I feel a uh, a uh, cool cool. Ajá. Yeah. Let's say to refresh. To refresh my body. Exactly to refresh my body. That's very good. Excellent. To refresh my body. Let's write another one. And for this one, Maritza Padilla is going to help me. And it's going to be, I, ah, okay. Cell phones are used for? Maritza Padilla. Cell phones are used for? Maritza once, Maritza twice, Maritza three times. No. Okay. Uh, Miguel, can you help me? Cell phones are used for? For. For sending. Uh -huh. Sending email. Emails, good. Not today because today we didn't have Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter. We didn't have anything. <laughs> today we okay. were sending smoke signals. <laughs> so, is it clear how to create the sentences? Ahora que ya hicimos estos ejemplos, les queda más claro cómo es que utilizamos este tipo de oraciones? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, Very teacher. good. Now oh, is you. the moment. It's the moment for you to show me that you understood the exercise. I need you, please. I need you, please, to go and get one object. 
get one object. Van a ir a traer un objeto que ustedes lo usen para alguna finalidad. And you are going to show it to me. Me lo van a mostrar. And I am going to say, I use my cell phone. I use my cell phone to communicate with my students. Yeah. And you have an object, right? You have the object and you tell me the sentence. I use this toy. I use this toy to play with my kid. Um, let's see. We are going to go with the next one. I use this cup to drink coffee. Okay. I need you to get one object and tell me the use of the object. Okay. Le voy a dar un minutito para que vayan todos a traer un objeto. O que lo tengan ahí cerca. Agárrenlo. Y necesito su cámara, obviamente, porque tengo que ver el objeto. So, I am going to stop sharing. And I need you to show me one object. Show me one object and tell me the use of the object. I use this bobby pin, right? Do, can you see it? I use this bobby pin to hold my hair. Right? I use this bobby pin to hold my hair. Bling. That's the use. Okay, that's the name of that one, if Michelle. you didn't know. Uh-huh. Um, I use my pen to write. Uh -huh. I use my pen to write. Fantastic. Chair. Yes? I use my watch when I need to know uh, to know the hour. Okay, so I use my watch to right. know the hour. No. I use my watch to know the hour. No, the hour, teacher. okay. Okay. Heidi, uh -huh. How do you say recortes, teacher? Recortes. Uh -huh. Recortes de papel. Sí. Ah, cuts. Paper cuts. Ah, okay, teacher. Uh, in my case, is the user the glue? Uh -huh. the I use the glue. The glue the for the paper cut. Okay. I use the glue for pasting, pasting, for pasting, okay. para pegar, for pasting the paper cuts. Good, Did Regina. You? Oh, Regina has it. I, no. do, I use my glasses to read. I use my glasses to read. Very good. Blanca, what is your object? My, oh, sorry. Ah, the background. <laughs> I can see, I can see. My glass for drinking my favorite uh, drink. I use my glass for drinking my favorite drinks, right? Or to drink my favorite drinks. That's cool. Mr. Julio, what do you have? I have a mouse. I uh -huh. use my mouse to click on the screen. To click on the screen. Fantastic. Ismael, what do you have? Hello, I, I got a small notebook. Uh -huh. I use it for saving or for writing down my, my notes. Okay, I use my, note, my notebook to write down my notes. Very good. Mr. Marlon, what do you have? Well, it's something to say. I use my notebook to copy my class. I use my notebook to copy my class. Very good. Jancy, what do you have? Um. I I use the control the changing for changing. Uh, how do you say channel? Channel for changing the channels. The channel TV. Okay, let's do the complete sentence. Vamos a hacer la oración completa, así como hicimos con Milton. I use the control to I change do, the channel. I use the control, the, the changing the, the channel. Okay, for changing. Si usamos ING es for. Si usamos... For changing. Ah, for very changing. good. For changing the channels. Excellent. The channel. Very good job. Miguel, what do you have? Okay, a bottle. I use my bottle for drinking water. I use my bottle for drinking water. Very good job. Let me see, uh, Regina, what, oh, Regina showed me the glasses already. Diomesis, Mr. Tito, what do you have?
Why use pencil for writing in class? I use my pencil for writing in class. Very good. Excellent. Hey, it's a pleasure to see you, Mr. Tito. A mí me gusta, de veras que me gusta un montón verlos en cámara. Me gusta que estén ahí presentes. Mr. Let me see. Alfredo Antonio, what do you have? Hi. Permit, permit, teacher. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I use my, my computer to work. I use my computer to work. Very good. Excellent. What a beautiful kid. Ana Romero. And there you have the computer. Very good. Ana, what is your example? Okay, Anita, one, Anita, two, Anita, three. Michelle, what is your example? Hi, teacher. I use my cup to drink coffee. Okay, cheers. Clink. <laughs> Very good. Let's see. Maritza, are you there? Maritza, Maritza. Oh, Maritza just left. Uh, let me see. I think we're done. Me falta alguien a quien no le he preguntado. No. Creo que ya les pregunté a todos. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Si no, dígame a mí, teacher, no me olvide. It's okay. Okay, so that's the way. And as you can see, you have many different objects for many different purposes. Todo objeto que tengamos tiene un propósito. Even this bracelet. I have a bracelet right here, right? I use this bracelet to combine it with my necklace, right? For example, I use my headphones to listen to the class. I use my computer to teach the class. So every object has a purpose, every object. So, teacher, yes? Teacher, uh, for example, uh, I use my car to, uh, for transportation to my job. Okay, I use, I, I have one example here. I use my car, it's right here. I use my car to drive uh, to my work. To drive. Right to drive, okay? And okay. you can say, I, I use the bus for transportation, you can oh, say. Okay, okay. Because you, you. you are not the one that it's driving because you pay and you are with another person, right? There you have okay. a chauffeur. In the okay. bus, you have a chauffeur. I'm a tourist. And you are a tourist, right? Okay. And you enjoy okay. the view and everything okay. in Salvador, right? I use the bus for transportation, right? In this case, it's just a purpose. Okay, but if you say, if you say, I use the bus, I use the bus okay. for traveling. No, in this case, it's, it's not traveling. It's for commuting to my work. ¿Qué significa commuting? Cuando usted lo usa para ir al trabajo y volver a casa. Y de la casa al trabajo, del trabajo a la casa. That's commuting, okay? Eso no se llama traveling, se dice commuting. ¿Por qué? Porque vamos... What does, what does, what does mean? Commuting, this one. Yeah. Commuting is when you go from your house to the work, from the work to your house. Ah, ok. Eso okay. significa viajar de la casa al trabajo y del trabajo a la casa. Eso significa okay. commuting. I use the bus for commuting to my work. That's another example. If you say for transportation, este es en general. Yo uso el bus para transportarme. You cannot say for transporting, porque ahí no entra ese, ese verbo. Ahí mejor decimos, I use my car to drive to my work. Okay? That's an extra example okay. that we can have. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, we were using these different sentences. Do you remember the sentences that we were creating? Estuvimos creando estas oraciones en la clase pasada. ¿La recuerdan? that you say satellites are used and you have the options here. What was the option? Satellites are used. ¿Para qué usamos los satélites? Study the world square. Aha, uh -huh. but you are missing something. Are you, satellites are used to study the world's weather, right? Or you say, if you say for 
let me just write it here in a very horrible way, but it's I am for by another country teacher for studying, right? And you use the I and G, right? Si tenemos for, tenemos que poner ING al verbo. For studying other countries, right? Or for observing other things. Imagine Google Maps. You can go anywhere in the world. And that is thanks to the satellites. Robots are used to? Perform a da dangerous tasks. To perform dangerous tasks. You can use a cell phone to? Send, send text. Send, send text messages. Very good. People use the internet to? For making travel reservation. Okay, or four. Here you have two or four. And if you have four, you have making. Right? I-N-G. Okay, perdón mi letra. Si fui al kinder, se los prometo. <laughs> People use the internet for making travel reservations. Reservation. DNA fingerprints. DNA fingerprints. Are you... Identify criminals. To identify criminals. Very good. They are used to identify criminals. And now you use the fingerprints for everything. On the cell phone, you need the fingerprint. Right? On the cell phone, you need the fingerprint to enter. Okay. At your job, you use the fingerprint to mark. Right? En el trabajo, usamos hasta el fingerprint para marcar que ya llegamos para encender el teléfono para abrir la wallet you use the fingerprints <laughs> right you use everything cd rooms cd rooms are used to store an encyclopedia to store an encyclopedia right to store Encyclo an encyclopedia with a y Enci sound Encyclo en encyclopedia encyclopedia to a store encyclopedia. and encyclopedia, okay? Store and encyclopedia, okay. That's the way you use it. Tell me, Mr. Uh, Julio, sentence number one, read it. Number one? Yes. Satellites are used to study the world's weather. Weather, weather. Weather. Very weather. good. Give me another name, Julio. Escoge alguien más. Uh, I don't know. Miguel? Miguel, number two. Sorry, man. <laughs> don't worry. Robots are sometimes used to perform dangerous tasks. Very good. Miguel, another person. Uh, Milton. Milton. You can use a cell phone to send text messages. You can use a cell phone to send text messages. Milton, another person. Y Regina. Regina. Alfredo. Ahorita. Ok, yeah. Regina, Regina. Number Regina. four. People use the internet to for the making travel reservation. Ok, people use the internet to make, make travel travel reservations. Reservation. Okay, si usamos tú, aquí va normal el verbo. Si usamos ah, for, perdón, si usamos for don't, worry. Sí. don't worry, don't worry. Okay, the next one. Give me another name. Otro nombre, otro nombre, Heidi. Blanca. Ah, Regina, Blanca. Okay, go ahead. Blanquita. Number five. The number five. five. DNA fingerprint is used to identify criminals. Identify. Identify criminals. Very good. Identify criminals. Next name. And the next. Michelle. Okay. Yeah. CD rooms are used to store encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. To store okay. an encyclopedia. Yeah. Encyclopedia. Very good. Everybody repeat with me. Encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. 
encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Yeah. Yeah. Encyclopedia. Yeah. Yeah. Room. encyclopedia. Yeah. Yeah. Room. Are you sure? And you sure? Are 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 you sure? Very good. To store an encyclopedia. Very good. So here you have some examples. And in these ones, you are going to work alone. In these ones, you are going to work on your notebook and you are going to create two sentences for each of the objects that I have presented here. Here you have video game, iPod, a modem, and a memory stick. And I need you to write two sentences with the different things. Remember, the sentences have to be, I am going to use, imagine I am going to use cell phone. Este ejemplo yo lo voy a poner porque va a ser el mío. Cell phone. I use the cell phone to make calls and I use the cell phone, I, sorry, I use the cell phone for taking pictures. Okay, and I have the two sentences. Okay, imagínense que aquí tuviéramos el ejemplo de cell phone. Entonces esas dos oraciones son las que yo creo. Pero aquí les tengo cuatro ejemplos más. Video game, iPod, a modem, a memory stick. Those are the four examples. What is the modem? The one that you wanted to kill today with the internet. Okay, el modem era el que iban a tirar porque no había WhatsApp. <laughs> But no, era in a world thing, right? So I need you to write two sentences for each of the objects. En total vamos a crear ocho oraciones. Una con tú y una con four. Okay. This is the plana moment. Vamos a hacer planas aquí. To play. Teacher. Yes? I use the phone to play video games. Okay, I use the cell phone to play video games, but I need you to write the sentences with these objects. Con video game, con iPod, con modem, y memory stick. What do you use the video games for? ¿Por qué jugaríamos un videojuego? Play with my kids. Ajá, uh -huh, to play with your kids, to relax, to... Uh... For the pool. <laughs> For pain, oh, okay, oh. for the payment, good. Uh, for for fun, right? To enjoy, to relax. All these for, things. Imagínense los videojuegos de, de baile. Some people use them to exercise. And that it's that it's a, a purpose. Okay, write your examples and when you have them, you let me know. Ajá. ¿Quién ya tiene el ejemplo para video game? Eh, can I? Go ahead. I use a video game to play with my family. I oh. use a video game for playing with my family. Very good job. Very good job. Excellent example. Right? I use a video game to play with my family and I use a video game for playing with my family. Very Fisher. good job, Julio. Yes. 
My son likes to play to the video game. My son likes to play video games? Mm -hmm. To do yes. what? ¿Cuál es el propósito? Eh, le gusta. Um, okay, you can say, my son likes to play video games for fun. For okay? fun. Or okay. to relax, you can say. Okay, and the it's other is, excuse me, I buy a video game for my son. Okay, uh, well, let me write the first example. I play video games to relax. And you can say, I bought a video game to give it to my son, okay? Yo compré uno para dárselo a mi hijo, okay? You have the two examples there, very good job. The next one. Sorry, alguien interrumpí que iba a hablar. ¿Quién fue? Uh, yo. Go ahead. El segundo. El Go iPod. Ahead. Okay. I use an iPod to listen music. I use an iPod to listen to music. Very good job. And now. I use an iPod for listening music. For listening music. Very good job. Excellent examples. Another example. Who has an example for the modem? Who has an example for the modem? I, I have a modem to store files. I have a modem to store files. Good. I have a modem for uh, storing files. For storing files. Good. Very good. Or for sharing internet. You can have it. Excellent job. Very good. And who has an example for the memory stick? ¿Quién tiene un ejemplo para la memory stick? Alfredo, que estaba trabajando en la computadora. Veamos. Do you have an example for the memory stick? Hey, teacher. Yes. Can I give, can I give one? Yeah, for sure. Go ahead. Okay. And a uh, memory stick is used for uh, saving files. Excellent. It's used for saving files. Very good. For saving or storing, the two sentences are correct. Very good. Any Teacher, other example? Yes. I, I'm not using, using, using a memory stick in... ¿Cómo puedo decir? Me arruinó una vez una y todo, se me fue el teacher. Se me perdió todo. Teacher, sí, no es broma. Todo, you, todo, you, me... Ok, you say, I lost one and I lost <laughs> everything. I lost one. And I and, lost. And I lost. Everything. Everything. Because the memory stick is used for saving information. But I have the risk, I have the... Uh, Ok, I have the solution for that. Ok, le voy a dar la solución para eso, Alfredo. Let's say, I use a memory stick to save a backup of my files. Ok, <ríe> esa es, el, esa es la, la solución. I use a memory stick to save a backup of my files. Para guardar una copia. To save a backup of my files. <laughs> no guarde los originales. Guarde una copia. Teacher, tenía una. No. <laughs> Pero como le dije, cambio, teacher. Los últimos me fueron. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, that was a that was a, a bad a bad moment, a, a bad situation. Mr. Milton, do you have an example? The microphone, the microphone. The microphone. El micrófono porque siento que me está dando el secreto de la felicidad. Todavía no funciona. The microphone, Mr. Milton. Creo que Mr. Milton nos está dando su número de tarjeta de crédito y no lo vamos a oír. <laughs> There you go, you have it. Well, I use the microphone for 
give my charla? Uh, for giving my talk. For giving oh, my oh, talk. Oh, discurso, teacher. Discurso. Okay. Dis so you say, discurso? I use my microphone. I use my microphone to give my talks. Okay, my talks son sus discursos, sus charlas. Okay. I use my microphone to give my talks. Y ahí nos la estaba limitando porque no lo oíamos. Okay, very good. Thank you, yeah, Mr. Milton. What's up? Ajá, uh -huh. what do you use? You're welcome. <laughs> okay, what do you use uh, WhatsApp for? Uh -huh. Si tuviéramos que hacer una oración con WhatsApp, what do you use WhatsApp for? WhatsApp. Uh -huh. What do you use WhatsApp for? I use I use the WhatsApp for uh, for, for, uh, for, uh -huh. for sending messages, sending right? Message. I use WhatsApp for sending messages, for sending stickers, for sending pictures, for sending memes, for sending every information that you need. You use WhatsApp for. I use I use it for. Uh, yes. Um, video call or um, video llamada. I use. I was going to say that I use it uh, to have video calls. In meeting, in meeting classmates. Exactly, in meeting your classmates. Very good job. So that's the example, right? And that's basically the use of these type of sentences. Here, I have a little bit of pronunciation practice. Right, in the case of these type of words, right? Estas palabras las estuvimos ocupando hace unos segunditos en las oraciones, right? But it has a specific pronunciation. This one, for example, is satellite. 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 Y si se fijan, satellite. la mayor fuerza de voz va aquí al principio. Satellite. 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 Internet. Internet. You don't say internet. Internet is in Spanish, but in English is internet. Internet. The next one is. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Uh, what is different internet con internet? Ah, the internet is everything that you can surf on. And the intranet, it's like deeper files on the internet. Okay, la internet es la que está todo en general. Pero la intranet, si no me equivoco, es los archivos aún más ocultos del internet. Thank you, teacher. That's the difference. The next one is photograph. 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 You don't say photograph. 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 Si decimos photograph, photograph, photograph. estamos equivocados. Oh. Es photograph. 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 Satellite. 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 Internet. 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 Photograph. 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 Si leemos esta segunda en español es internet. internet. Y en inglés internet. es internet. 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 Ok. Internet. The next one. You say invention. 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 You don't say you don't say invention. Ni decimos invention. You say invention. 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 Assignment. 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 Aquí no decimos assignment. No decimos assignment. Decimos assignment. Si se fijan. Assignment. 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 ¿Dónde va la fuerza de voz? Aquí en medio. ¿ve? Okay. Assignment. Here we go. Assignment. In the middle. Assignment. Invention. Invention. Computer. Com computer. Computer. You don't say computer. 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 Or you say computer. 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 Excellent. The next one is CD ROM. CD ROM. CD ROM. CD ROM. Engineer. Engineer. Entertain. Entertain. Aquí no decimos CD ROM. 
No decimos engineer. No decimos entertain. Decimos CD ROM. Engineer. Entertain. At the end. Okay. ¿Cómo leemos las primeras? Satellite. 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 Invention. Invention. No decimos, invention. No decimos invención, ¿verdad? No, sucede, sucede. Yo les digo, en mis 18 años de vida de docente he oído de todo. Invention. Ya, chingo en Invention. 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 Assignment. Assignment. Computer. The next ones, number three, CD RAM. Engineer. Engineer. Entertain. Entertain. Very good job. Excellent. Very good job. Let's continue then. Ya. Ya no vamos a andar por el mundo diciendo esas palabras mal. Let's continue here. What do you think these categories are? Uh, four. You have four categories. This is like Jeopardy. People who are into computers. People who are very into the computer world. Types of computer hardware. What is hardware? ¿Saben qué significa hardware? Ajá, ¿Algún tecnológico computacional aquí? Que nos explique qué es hardware. The case of the computer. Ajá. All the parts of the computer that you can touch. Right. Those are hardware. Software are the ones that you cannot touch. Okay, the programs and all that. So, fun things to do with a computer. Cosas divertidas que podemos hacer con una computadora. And things to do with a mouse. So, what is something that you can put in the different categories? We have browse, browse websites that it's fun things to do with a computer. Cut and paste, and people say copy paste, <laughs> copy paste. Cut and paste, disk drive, double click, tick tick, drag, drag and drop, drag and drop, mm -hmm. geek, hacker, highlight test, highlight is eh, como seleccionar, keyboard, monitor, mouse, play games, Scan photographs, surf on the net or on the internet, technophile or whiz. What word would you put in each category? ¿Cuáles palabras pondrían en qué categoría? Cut and paste and uh -huh. things to do with the mouse. Okay, cut and paste, things to do with a mouse. Cut and paste. Uh -huh. uh, this, sure. this drive, this, this drive, is this drive? Type, um, of computer hardware. This drive. This drive. Uh -huh. uh, double click. click double double click. click. Where? Things to do with the amount. Okay. Double okay. click. Double click. Uh, hacker. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it has to be under people who are in two computers. Hacker, good. Hacker. Hijo, poneme el WhatsApp. Hacker. <laughs> Hacker. What other one? We have uh, we have cut and paste, this drive, double click. Hacker. What's Drag another one? and drop. Drag and drop. Do with the mouse. Drag and drop, good. Also, highlight text and drag and be drop. under things to do with a mouse. Mm -hmm. Highlight text. Okay. Okay. Very good. What else? Mon monitor. Aha, uh -huh, the monitor. Type computer. Okay, types of computer hardware. Very good. Monitor. The monitor. Mouse. Excellent. Or 
Keyboard. The keyboard. Good. Mouse. And the mouse. And the mouse. Good. Very good. Hey, gay fans to do with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Play game. Play games. Sorry, it's fun things fun to do thing. with a computer. Yes. Yeah. Play games. What other yeah. thing can you do in the computer? Serve the net. Serve the net. Serve the net. And scan photographs, very good. Scan photographs, excellent. Excellent job, good. You say play games, scan photographs, surf the net. Now, all the ones that are left are for sure people who are into computers. People who are into computers are? Solo esas nos quedan. What do you have? It's technophile. Technophile? Technophile? I think I made a mistake. Wait, 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 wait. Technophile. Technophile is a person who knows a lot about technology. Technophile? What is the other one? Wiz and Geek. Geek. A geek is a master of computers, right? Que sabe cómo hacer todo on the computer. How to program, how to do the things, how to make games, how to create video games. That's a whiz or a geek. A technophile, it's a person who knows a lot about the theory and everything about computers, right? So this is something interesting because we know different types of vocabulary. Now you know different types of vocabulary that maybe we didn't know before. Now we do. Very good job. So, ¿ya sabían alguna de estas o es nueva alguna de estas para ustedes? Nuevas para mí. Todas. ¿Cuál? Todas. todas. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> okay. Eh, Alguien que de veras no sabía alguna que diga, hey, I didn't know about Wiz or yes, Geek. Me. Which one? Wiz, 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 Wiz. Wiz and geek. 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 geek, 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 a geek, 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 geek. What does mean? Geek es un eh, fanático de las computadoras que sabe programar, oh, hacer okay. videojuegos, hacer de todo, hacer. It's like wow, my goodness. Lo que se le ocurra con la computadora lo puede hacer. It's that's a genius. A, that's a genius. It's a geek, right? Okay. It's like the nerd of the computers. Okay. That's a geek or a whiz. It's the same. What? And like whiz and geek are very similar. Ah, oh, okay. And okay. the technophile, on the contrary, it's a person who knows a lot of theory and everything on the computers. El technophile no solo sabe hacer, también sabe toda la teoría atrás de el estudio de las computadoras. That's a technophile. Good. Very good. So I am going Is to... Whiz? Whiz? Whiz. Es un, un genio, un nerd de las computadoras. Ah, okay. Okay, excuse me. Okay, I am going to put this one here. <laughs> I am going to make it smaller. You see? Aquí me estoy robando su respuesta. I feel like a geek right now. Cada vez que hago estas cosas me siento como geek. Chara. There you go. Okay, <laughs> I am a geek on the computer. That's very good. So uh, that's part of the vocabulary for this one. Okay, hi sweetie. And here I'm going to finish the class with a little bit of conversation, right? A little bit of conversation and it says, uh, how do computers make your life easier? How do computers affect the way you spend your free time? How do computers influence the kinds of job people have? What kinds of problems do computers cause? Do you know anyone who is a computer whiz? Are hackers a problem where you live? And I am going to send the questions in the WhatsApp group because I need you to think of the answers for the different questions, okay? 
les voy a enviar todas las preguntas al grupo de WhatsApp. Y lo que vamos a hacer es para el día de mañana, todos van a traer su punto de vista o su respuesta. ¿Por qué? Porque esto es parte del eh, Free Conversation Time. Ok, we are going to start tomorrow with the conversation of this and I am going to send you the image for you to create your answers, for you to discuss them, ok? And you are going to have them ready for tomorrow's class. Para el día de mañana, cada quien va a traer su punto de vista acerca de las diferentes preguntas que les acabo de enviar al grupo, ok? Ok. So you okay. have four questions. How do computers make your life easier or more difficult? How do computers affect the way you spend your free time? How do computers influence the kinds of job people have now with the pandemic? How do computers influence? What kinds of problems do computers cause? And do you know anyone who is a computer whiz? That it's very smart for the computers. And are hackers a problem where you live? And we had a situation with hackers this year here in El Salvador. Did you know about that? ¿Se dieron cuenta de eso? That, that we had a problem with hackers in El Salvador this year. That they were I trying have... to... Oh, so, well, they were trying to steal things from from the banks and they were sending fake emails and all that. So I am going to share a little bit more on this tomorrow. Okay, kids, my dear students, kids, I said, and you are all adults. My dear students, I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Remember to bring your answers for the questions, okay? Mañana no se les olviden las respuestas a las preguntas que les acabo de enviar. And sure. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Anita. Can you send? Can you send the presentation, please? Yes. As soon as I finish the section, I can send it to you. Tan pronto termine la sección, okay, les puedo enviar la de, la de esta sección y la de la sección pasada. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Have a beautiful night, and Bye. I am going to see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Have a Bye. beautiful night. Take care. Take care. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.